the kind of guns. Okay, so welcome to Minimalist Android Setups Episode 3. In this set of videos, I basically share Android setups that I personally use on my phones with you guys. And today's setup is something that I like to call ice cream. If you're new here, consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification so that you can get notified every single time I upload a new Android setup video. So for this setup, you're literally only going to need one thing besides the initial Novo Launcher setup, which is a bit unbelievable. But yeah, the wallpaper, the icon pack, everything is literally just one installation. So the only application that you're going to need to download, which is literally the same place that I get my wallpaper from the wallpaper section. Now, of course, I'm going to have links in the description so that you can follow and download the exact same things that I used in this video. Uh, but of course, after downloading this, you simply install it on your Nova Launcher setup and you make sure that your home screen setup grid is about eight by nine, I believe. And besides that, all you're going to have to do is basically drag all the applications that you use primarily into your main home screen. Now, since this setup allows you to have up to 20 applications on the home screen, if you're a minimalist, you can actually get away with using just one home screen and never using your app drawer at all. But of course, if you need more, you can have a second home screen where you have another 20 applications, bringing it to a total of 40. And I really don't see how a minimalist is using more than 40 applications on their phone. I think the most convenient thing is that all the wallpapers that they have in the wallpaper section actually work perfectly with this setup. Like, you can find perfectly ice cream wallpapers that look absolutely minimal, absolutely flat, absolutely beautiful with very nice colors in the wallpaper section and you can pick whatever you feel matches the aesthetic that you're going for. Now, because I disabled my notification bar at the top, I actually added a tiny widget from the Waffle 4K WGT widget pack. I believe this is the 114 widget. It's basically a time and date widget that I basically just dragged and eat there and I changed the colors to perfectly match the wallpaper. So that way you can almost not even tell that it's there, except you actually take the time to really, really look at it. Ultimately, of course, this part of the setup is completely optional. Nobody says you have to disable your notification bar, but if you did and you wanted to have the time widget, this would be a great way to have it. Uh, that's basically all there is to this setup. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe so that you do not miss my next setup video. And I guess I will see you on another video that was shot by Kagan. Peace.